All right, everyone, it's Ross. In today's video, we actually have created ourselves a little bit here of a new garden bed. Um, we mulched this whole area that needed it desperately. We put down lots of straw that we kind of freed up from this area over here. We were protecting a lot of potted plants in the wintertime with that straw. Those potted plants are then going to be brought over and planted in different locations. We've talked about all kinds of things of what the, the plans are going to be for next year, but I figured this little area here, I think I'm going to put in some mulberry trees, some dwarf mulberry trees right in front of these apples here. But also I think maybe I should just instead use this as a nice little garden bed area. Um, I've really been enjoying how the seeds have been working out. Even the fig cuttings, how everything is working so well this year with the lights, things are growing quickly. Um, we're not too far away from our last frost. We're not too far away from April 1st where we can plan out a lot of our frost loving crops or our cool loving crops I should say. So I may turn this into that little area here that we can use this area for extra plants. Um, we're getting lots of potatoes. I don't have a, a space for potatoes. We also have some yacone that my friend Yatama gave me, but we planted it in a different location and that location is now going to be used by something else. So maybe we can dig it up and, and put it in here somewhere. You never know. I don't, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with this little area, but I think I like the, the way that this is forming here, which is a nice little pattern of going out this way and then connecting into this bed here. And you know, it would be nice if I could just cover this whole area with uh, straw, but I think I wanna be a little bit conservative here with how much land I take up with my parents. This area here, I think is gonna make a nice little, just a nice little visual here going into this location. And then this kind of separates itself from that bed. And uh, I don't know, I think we can fill in this little area with more tree trunks if we get them, mushroom logs if I can find myself some logs. I know we talked a lot about that and getting chip drop and all kinds of other services, but I've yet to be able to get anything here in my location, so. If we can get some, that'd be great. Maybe we can put some nice landscape rock in here. I don't know, but just make it look nicer than it is. Even though I think it's already got some decent eye appeal the way that it is. I know it's tough to see between the grass and the straw, but it's kind of going off like this. So I think I like that little visual line there. I don't know. But anyway, the point of this little video is to talk about you know, kind of landscape design, but also to mention that creating a bed is very simple. Um, so what we've started out with is the the cardboard. And I don't really have any chickens, I don't have any pigs, I don't have any animals that are gonna till this up for me. I don't use a tiller, I don't have a tiller, I don't need a tiller, I don't have a lot of land. So for me, this is really simple. Just coming in here and putting down cardboard and then on top of the cardboard, you put down the straw that kills the grass. And then come spring, if we're gonna plant annuals in here, we're gonna put some vegetables in here. We certainly wanna put down a lot of compost and I'll come in here and kind of redo this, make it look a bit nicer, edge it out more and put down about three to four inches of compost and I can plant directly into that. So that's just kind of what it entails to create a new bed and i think a lot of people struggle with this especially the newer growers right they don't exactly know how to create a bed or how to even get gardening i mean this is really the simplest way to do it um, you just need some materials and if you do it right everything will work out really well and you'll have a lot less struggles for years and i'm still fixing problems that i have created you know, with all the garden, all, all the garden plans and orchard plans that I have showed you guys in the past couple weeks, taking all the pots away from this location and put putting them in the ground over here and moving this and moving that, you know, all that's been a pain in the butt, right? It's been a real headache. And if I would have known these things from the beginning, I wouldn't have this issue, and uh, I would be a lot less, uh, a lot happier. So. I know uh, everyone's going to make mistakes, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys have learned something from this video and can learn something from my yard and learn from my mistakes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. 
Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. We post all kinds of different content over there that's actually quite different from the videos, things that I've done in, in the daily life that I have. And, you know, things like uh, making some tacos that came out really well, things like kimchi, kombucha, you know, all kinds of different um, content out there. So please follow me over there, and uh, I'll catch you all later. All right? Take care.